So they're going over a list here of the hottest stand-up comedians. It's not like hot as in good or popular, but like looks-wise. And Chris gets a little 20 minutes, you say? 20, 30. 20, 30, okay. Chris gets a little... Uh, or 20, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. 20 minutes, Sorry, I was just okay. searching the transcript. Ooh, Robin Tran. Robin Tran, I had sex with Robin Tran this week. <laughs> Fucked her in the ass. You've been out and about lately. I came to this conclusion that um, the Tana Tana Mo, Mojo has a tranny that is like full boobs, everything, got everything there, right? She's, she's done the whole Lila. She's done the whole makeover where you think it's a girl now. I'm not into that. I am in uh, trans people that just dress up like a girl. I think I figured this out. If you just dress up like a girl, you're fine. Surgery is no joke. You don't want to put yourself through surgery, okay? You know how many surgeries I've said no thank you to the doctor to? Imagine being in surgery. That's a big deal. People get surgeries way too easily. I'm not just talking about trans surgery, any surgery. Dental surgery. You know, I got a mouth full of cavities because I won't go to the dentist. Uh, I would say if you're getting surgery... Even if you need surgery, forget the trans stuff. If you're getting surgery, you're fucking cuckoo. All right, here they are. They're looking at the list. It's like, there's still, though, there's like a level. The golden though, hour. You know? It, 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 there's a level, like, you have to have. Like, it can't so, like, be a 10. When does comedy come into a play where it's not weird? But the problem is when you add gay on top of that, it gets all skewed. Yes. I think that, <laughs> I think that. If you can, I don't think it has to do with when does comedy come into play. I think that you can be, I, I think you can be a 10 and be funny. I just think it's super rare because women who are so fucking attractive, they don't have to develop that. They don't have to be <laughs> they funny. They don't need those skills. They don't have He's to be doing funny. doing the Andrew Schultz thing where they're so, they think they just discovered one of the most basic sentences of all time. Chris Dilley and Andrew Schultz are very similar with this. They'll tell you something that you heard 50 years ago from a child, but they'll tell you it as if they just came up with well, it today. And it's when you're sitting with a couple of dumb guys, yeah. you can get too excited to I share this, the world's th wisdom. This is them. happening a lot. A lot of the world's wisdoms are getting kind of buried. And since there's so much new content now, the younger generations aren't really going back. So almost every 10 years, it's like if you look at Matt Reif's stand up right now, He's saying a bunch of shit that's like, no, duh. We learned about this when we were three, but they didn't. That generation is literally just learning about this now from Matt Rife. That worries me. Um, you know, because back in the day, like when we were kids, right, um, we kind of knew about all of our parents' content because there wasn't a lot of content, right? We weren't buried in it. So we had to go back like we watched Gilligan's Island. Show. Right? Like, we had to watch all those old shows, so we kind of knew, like, everything our parents knew, and it wasn't that hard to catch up, because there wasn't a lot of new stuff taking over our, our time. Now there's so much new stuff, these kids don't know anything unless it just happened, you know? And Chris Lee and Andrew Schultz and Matt Reif, they're the kings of this. They're the kings of telling you something that it's like, yeah, I learned that in third grade. Why are you so excited? Here he is. Funny. They don't have to. So why would... It's like so much easier to chill. It's so much easier to chill and be like, you do the talking, uh, bring me stuff. But but who's the hottest person? <laughs> we got to be funny. Well, Matt, well, Matt, Matt, Matt Rife. I got to be funny. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay, you argue Matt Rife, but Matt Rife He's a dime. is who he is. But he's been who he is in his head. You'd like to go on a little hotel night with Matt Rife, huh? He'd be a great partner for you. You and Matt Rife would be great. Keeping Perfect secrets. Man. Oh, my God. Can't you see them slapping hands all loose and cool at the end of the show? Yeah, let's go back to the hotel. Let's slap hands. Michael Lenoche. Huh? Let's give that Michael Lenoche a scare. If you got a second, go over to Instagram. Find this comedian, Michael Lenoche. Be like, dude, all your secrets are about to be exposed on Red Bar. <laughs> His whole life. Yeah. When he was 16, he was, uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, he had weird teeth. Nobody yeah. was wanting that shit. No, yeah. he, so and, he and he grew into there, his shit, yeah. so he built up his shit. He's, He's like funny. A caterpillar. Yeah. You know? But so, and it's like, 
Yeah, sure, I got these shoulders, but you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> you're ugly yeah, I enough, like though. I had to come out. Uh, you still, we're still Something waiting. about me, bro. Listen, if I was... if I, crazy if, about If me, I was as funny as some of the attractive comics, uh-huh. I would be working at UPS. Yeah, okay, I understand yeah. no, that, no, no, bro. No, 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 no. You hear what he's saying? He's trying to say the attractive comics aren't funny. He's way funnier than... If he was as funny... As the attractive comics, he'd be working at UPS. That's how, because he's so ugly. No, no, no. You're less funny than the attractive comics. I hope you know that. I hope Eric Griffin knows that. Nobody's looking at you as a funny man. Right? Eric Griffin? You think you're like a funny guy? You're not. Oh, you be the funny me, though, dude. <laughs> Some about me. <laughs> I'm just saying. I know, I know. You know, like, well, also, like, there's like four attractive yeah. comedians. Dude. Yeah, but like, what else? I'm one of them. You know what I mean? Oh, I don't man, like that. I don't, know, I don't like that. If girls, I don't know, if man. girls are saying after your show, <laughs> if girl, if the, if you say how was the show, and if the girl immediately says, "Oh, he's so hot," not oh, good, well, not yeah, good. then I'm oh, out. I'm out on this good. person. Yeah. You know yeah. who found this clip? Leo Dominique. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, this Leo Dominique. I'm gonna. St- it makes me not want to cover what he finds. You know, if Leo Dominique finds it, what's what He's good is it? Payment. I'm telling you, mark my words right now. Do not trust Leo Dominique. Please, guys, trust me on this. You'll see. You'll be like, wow, I can't believe it. Mike was so right about Leo Dominique. <laughs> I'm terrified of the I guy. I still trust him for now. Tara fucking fine. I love. I'm gonna. Clips. It's gonna be a big ordeal with this Leo Dominique one day. <laughs> now that I've said that, I should be safe for when the ordeal comes. Right? As long as you call it, you can't really be held responsible when it happens. So I'm saying it now. Leo Dominique, we should, if you are a listener, let's do stuff to him behind the scenes. I'm just kidding. Actually, Leo Dominique's probably great. I have a fear. Now when I see Leo Dominique, speed, I'm afraid to go to the, my own group here. You're speed of running your own demise at the hands of Leo Dominique. Right yeah, now. exactly. That's now exactly he's right. he's turning on you already because this is a self-fulfilling prophecy. I'll go as far as to say Leo Dominique has been setting us up the whole time. There's nothing. There's no turn. The turn, he's always been against us. That's what I feel. <laughs> That's my gut. <laughs> Not me. Sorry, it's my gut. I got a lot of things going on in my gut. One of them is that Jules is going to die very, very, very soon, Stop. leaving me alone. And I will not do the show without her, by the way. I will continue collecting the payments if she dies. If you give up on that, what do you, you know, that's crazy. Um, and then the other thing I'm sure of is that Leo Dominique will, uh, will really fuck me one day. <laughs> You know, very, very soon. Okay, are they going to go over this list? Well, well, hold on. I'm never going to get that. It's always going to be, oh, that you. guy was fun. Oh, by the way, I'm kidding about Leo Dominique. That's all I want. They're coming to different. Oh, dude, let's look at this list. What is Not this? Right, There's the one. Wow. Well, yeah, of course he's number Ooh, one. Ooh, Chris. <laughs> so this is the list here that they're looking of the hot hunk comedians. And Chris, really, this really, look at him. Look at his little face when he sees Matt Rife here. Here, watch this. Let's look at this list. What is Matt Rife number comedian? one. Wow. Well, yeah, of course he's number one. Oh, but, then, but then it goes to, it's like off already. Seth, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Seth yeah. Myers. Done. There's Done. some monsters Done. in there already on the, on the screen. Like, Done. are you kidding me? Trevor Noah's hands. I'll give him that. Who is Bo Burnham? Here, Bo Burnham's on the list. Age 32. Who's he dating? Phoebe Bridgers. Yes. With that square ass, those short little legs, that lesbian head. Bo Burnham is dating Phoebe Bridgers from the band that, and I quote, said this, war criminal. You guys following this band? What are they called? Brother George? What are they called? (laughs) Boy genius. Boy genius. Woo. That should scare you. Boy genius should scare you. Love them. No, no, no. There's in (laughs) fact a new band coming to take them down. What's the new band called? Finally, I don't have to listen to Phoebe anymore. We got a Phoebe copycat, and she's way better. Who's the new one? Oh, Claude. Claude. (laughs) Bo Burnham is dating a lesbian, Phoebe Bridgers. Look at her butt pic. It is a square butt, similar to the square butt found in 
this movie with this girl who's got hair all over the side of her face. Have you seen this movie? My God, what was What is that, that movie called? What was We watched a horror movie. Influencer. Oh, yeah. Right? We watched a horror movie called Influencer. And one of the girls in this movie has a real birthmark on her face. It's all hairy. It's like a patch of fur. And she's at a nude scene towards the end of the movie, which was really weird. The movie is like wrapping up. And then she does her first nude scene while taking a blood wash off shower after doing some killings. Very weird timing for a nude scene. We've been watching the movie for an hour and 45 minutes and now you're doing... You didn't need to show her square ass in the show. Have you ever seen where they pan down and a girl's got a perfectly square ass? That's bullying. Uh, but that's what Phoebe Bridgers have, and Bo Burnham is grabbing that thing, so he must be a fucking <laughs> lesbian homo or some shit. All right, let's see what Chris does next. He's not too happy that he is not on the list, of course. <laughs> Brendan has a... Brendan, Brendan kind of hopes people think he's hot, probably, but knows better than to ever. He would never bring that up. He would never even dream. But he's maybe a little. Yeah, he thought maybe that he was one of the hunkiest comics of all time. You didn't make the list. You know, you got Trevor Noah on the list. You got Seth Meyers, who is a hideous old man. I know. I mean, it's Seth like Meyers is one of the Jack ugliest Whitehall, people. Jack Whitehall, ew. Ooh. Chris Hardwick, again. I mean, really, though, that Seth Meyers might be one of the creepiest old men I've ever seen. All right, let's see what Chris does next. This is from oh, Leo Dominic. Bozo. Bozo. Chris, Chris Hardwick? Man. Come on. Anthony Justin, he's, 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 like, he's a looker. Who's doing this stuff? Yeah. Ooh. Who's putting this on? Ooh. I vote Chris DeStefano. No homo. Pause. He's all right. Yeah, yeah Chris is up hey, there. man. <laughs> Steve Martin, dude. He's 150. <laughs> well, we age well, man. <laughs> Kumail. I mean, Jack. all right. Come on. Look at, look at this. Ah. What's what? wrong with Kumail? Because he's not from your country? I think Kumail is very attractive. In fact, he's been my workout inspo. I got the same body as Kumail under here. Okay? Greek gad. Uh, yeah, Kumel is uh, one of the finest hunks I've ever seen. How's Kumel's body holding up, by the way? I haven't seen him in a while. We got to watch, uh, what's his, uh, Stain Death. What was his show that he's in, that HBO show? Oh, yeah, he's in a little show. What is it, is it called again? I don't know. Project Greenlight? Project Greenlight is back. This is the show that gave Shia LaBeouf his start. You know, it used to be Ben Affleck and Matt Damon. They show you how to make a movie. Go look at the new Project Greenlight. This is on Max, uh, HBO Max. And then uh, you'll see it's just some weird black woman, a weird Chinese woman, another weird black woman, and another weird... No whites. And then Kumail Nanjiani. They're going to show us how to make an all non-white movie. Good luck, ladies. But we should watch that and check up on his bod. Yeah, we should check up on his bod. I'd like to see... Oh, yeah, dude. That, no, oh. that's crazy. Who, who was number three? It was like... Uh, Colin two, first of all, Andy Samberg is like, <laughs> all right, two? Uh, done. Okay, Colin yeah. Jost is a, a, attractive yeah. guy. Yeah. No, he is not. Sure. That's but my wife. Three? Andy Samberg, no way. I mean... John, Mulaney John, neither, John though. Mulaney, come yeah. on. Just trying, Seth Samberg. Myers, fuck you. Well, it's just like... I Chris Harwick, come on. No, they're, all of these are... Justin Nick should right. be two on that list. Right Come, uh, for that, you don't think Jesselnik's better looking yeah. than Hardwick, it's actually, Whitehall, of Myers, like Matt Rife is actually. Un Jesselnik should be number two. <laughs> okay, fellas, there they are. Thank you, Leo Dominique, for pointing this out to me. Leo, Leo the Lion, 